was me in the beginning of my weight loss journey my waistline was about 41 inches as you can see i purposely needed to document this because i knew i was going to be serious with my weight loss and this was just the um, free whatever of the tape roll and whenever it wasn't free it was just 40 and for my arms which is like the toughest place for me to lose weight it was um 15 inches so if you want to see how i looked like later on keep watching hi everyone welcome back to my channel i am timmy banjo and if it's your first time here welcome to this channel please remember to like follow or subscribe to my channel remember to give this video a thumbs up so the people in youtube headquarters will know that i am making good use of their platform so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the vital weight loss tips that actually work and if that sounds like something you're interested in make sure you keep on watching all right so i'm going to be sharing with you tips that have worked for me tips that i stand by and also tips that help me sustain my weight loss so number first or number one would be fasting that is intermittent fasting alternative day fasting make sure your fasting is above 12 hours minimum of 16 hours so you can do the 18 6 18 sorry you can do the 16 to 8 hours meaning your 18 hours to be for eight hours and then you fast for 18 hours the alternative day fasting is whereby you eat one day and the following day you do not eat so you alternate the days you eat which is very 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 efficient and within a week or two you begin to see results so these tips i'm giving you are guaranteed to give you results in like two to three weeks so a minimum of 21 days is fine for you to begin to see results also you want to make sure you are doing the portion control especially if you are on a low carb diet you do not want to fill your plate with so many carbs thinking oh you're going to you're going to work out you're going to exercise or move around fam it is very hard to lose calories so you want to make sure you're doing portion control in order for you not to starve i mean you have to eat properly to gain um energy for your daily activity you can fill your plates with them um, a little bit of carbs your rice your yam your beans whatever it is and then instead of the full portion of carbs you usually have make that half and replace it with vegetables and moderate amount of protein and if you're a person who likes protein a lot you want to make sure you substitute your meaty protein for lean protein which will be seafood fish prawns crabs and lobsters although some of them are expensive but there are cheap kinds of fish you can substitute which will be better which will be which will be a better option for you Next up is your stress level, your stress control. Make sure you are getting enough sleep in order for you to control your stress level, your stress in general. It could be your mental stress, it could be your body stress. So make sure you are getting enough sleep, which is very, very important. A minimum of seven hours of sleep or six hours of sleep is fine, but I like to recommend seven to eight hours of sleep, but some people don't have that luxury. So a minimum of seven hours of sleep is fine that also helps you to you know get up in a day helps your body break down the food which is meant to break down thereby making sure you do not have any stored food or any stored fat in your body which will be causing you to gain weight or gain fat all right so next will be that you need to stop quit your soda intake you do not need those type of things in your body they are made up of majorly sugar sugar and water so you need to stop your soda intake and replace it with fresh juice replace it with yogurt replace it with uh, smoothies and generally things that are healthier in your body i know we also we always have that sugar crave especially if you are on a diet where you can still take a little bit of sugar you crave more sugar when you take sugar so you need to replace that with maybe sweet fruits like pineapple bananas and you can have that in form of smoothies or um, juices and that will be fine for you so cut out your soda because those things give you pot belly and we don't want pot belly in this area no pot belly zone here so you need to cut those out and those are the things that will help you you know to make sure you don't crave more sugar and in general to lose weight next you need to make sure you're meal prepping because anybody who fails to 
plan plans to fail like they say so you make sure you're meal prepping for me i don't like to do the physical meal prepping where i put my food in bowls i just like to prep my food in my head because most of the time i like having fresh food so once i have that in my head the whole ingredients will be in the fridge or in the freezer i just walk up there bring it out and prepare it so i kind of do my own meal prep in my head or sometimes i write it down so whenever i forget i just bring out my paper or my book look at it and i know what i'm having instantly so you need to meal prep and that way you're making sure you're having enough food so you're not just eating because you're hungry you're eating because your body needs that food so when you meal prep you make sure you make sure you eat enough food and that also helps your metabolism because if you're not eating enough you're going to have a slow metabolism but once you are eating enough and you know your your diet is balanced you have enough carbs enough vegetables enough and um, protein enough vitamins vitamins enough vitamins in your diet your metabolism will be your metabolism will be apt and it will be very very you know moderate moderately working I'm not saying your metabolism will be fast but it will give you the desired result you're meant to have and once your metabolism is you know apt and fast you are sure to like lose all the weight sorry you are sure to break down the food which you have taken in and that way your body has enough energy for whatever activities you have to do in that day all right so that brings us to the end of this video if you do enjoy this video and you want to see more of this please let me know in the comment section down below and i have other videos for you which you can check out and i will leave them in the card which will be here and here so make sure you do check them out and do not leave my channel Continue sticking around with me and I'll see you in the next one you're about to click on Meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one you're about to click on. Bye